Because fibroids can change the shape of the uterus and they can grow within the uterus, some studies suggest fibroids can greatly affect fertility. We talk with Dr. N. Edward Duran of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach, who explained the treatment of fibroids. A fibroid is a single muscle cell in the uterus that grows over time and can cause pain, bleeding, uh, contribute to infertility, as well as uh, recurrent miscarriage. A fibroid can distort the anatomy of the uterus, so it can distort the cavity where the baby would grow and potentially prevent the baby from attaching, contributing to infertility. It can also contribute to a poor blood supply to an early pregnancy that could lead to a miscarriage. 25% of Americans have fibroids, so it's a very common condition. Uh, there's a number of factors that contribute to it, most of which is genetics. There can also be exposure to hormones that can also lead to fibroid growth. There's also ethnic changes. Some ethnic groups have a higher prevalence of fibroids than others. Depending on what your goals are, fibroids can initially be treated in women that are not pursuing pregnancy by using birth control pills to try to diminish their blood flow, to use non or anti-inflammatories or medications like Moltrin to decrease blood flow uh, or their menstrual flow. And um, finally, there's some other medications like Depo-Lupron that can be used to eradicate a period and put a patient into a temporary state of menopause. That temporary state of menopause will starve the fibroid and prevent it from causing symptoms. Unfortunately, they can only be on the depot Lupron for six months without causing complications of bone loss and cardiovascular side effects, so it's not a long-term solution. In patients that are pursuing pregnancy or have experienced recurrent miscarriage, the treatment is surgical. We asked Dr. Duran, are fibroids preventable? There's no absolute way of preventing fibroids. What you can do is in patients that have fibroids that have been surgically removed, if you uh, give her birth control pills continuously, you may uh, have an impact on growth of new fibroids over time. Um, but there's no absolute way of preventing fibroids from returning. Uh, an another important thing about fibroids is that um, they generally cause problems up into uh, the menopause. And once a, once a woman reaches menopause, the fibroids shrink and disappear for the most part. And when should a woman see a doctor about fibroids? Women typically present to the doctor with fibroids in their uh, mid-30s to mid-40s. So these are women that may be uh, experiencing heavy bleeding after completing their family and having lots of pain with their period or it may be, as we're seeing more frequently now, women starting their family after the age of 35 and suffering from infertility or repetitive miscarriage. Patients that have fibroids and do not require surgery, uh, once they reach menopause, which is an average age of 52, the fibroids tend to shrink and go away and not cause further symptoms. It's usually the estrogen produced by a woman's ovaries that feeds the fibroids and causes them to grow and become symptomatic.